you know. Yeah, I like that a lot. Yeah. A Wake Up Central helps you wake up smarter. And this morning, we have a connect the dots that could potentially save your life in the event of emergencies. We're talking about breaking the glass in your vehicle. You hear about it a lot. And if you ever need to break it for a quick escape, well, you might be in trouble. It's not as easy as you think sometimes. Take a look. Vehicle escape tools are a popular piece of protection to carry in your car, especially if you're worried about flooding. But it turns out they may not work in some newer cars. Let's connect the dots. Vehicle escape tools, sometimes called window punchers, are designed to quickly break glass so you can escape your car, whether it's under water or on fire. They are especially popular in areas prone to flooding because water can make it just about impossible to open your doors or even your windows because of the outside pressure. They are cheap and they used to be effective. That's not always the case anymore. These escape tools work best on tempered glass, the safety glass used in vehicles for years. When broken, it shatters into small chunks instead of large shards. Now, more and more vehicles are designed using laminate glass. That uses a thin film to hold together a window if it breaks. It was once just used for the front windshields, but more and more manufacturers use it for side windows. And according to research from AAA, no escape tool they tested could break laminate glass. So how can you tell if your glass is laminate or temperate? You can always dig through your driver's manual or you can check the window itself. It should have a sticker in the corner indicating tempered or laminate glass. AAA says manufacturers usually leave one window tempered, so make sure you know which one that is. And that's connecting the dots.